Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use ByTap. So this is going to be a tutorial of all the features within the app. So this is for Android and iOS devices like the iPhone. So first of all we're going to click on the home page when you first open the app. You're going to see your mix. And uh, the reason why I've seen these ones here is because you're going to kind of see uh, what you've been watching. So let's say for if you've been watching Comedy Bites, it's going to appear here. So it's gonna, depending on what you watch, that's what you're going to see within your mix. Uh, so next on the uh, top left hand corner you click following and obviously you're going to see all the people who uh, you're obviously you're following in there. And you can kind of look on their profile etc by clicking on the bottom left hand corner of each person's bite. That will bring up their profile with uh, your profile picture. Then if you want to uh, follow the person you click on the top right or if you want to unfollow them obviously depending on what you're at. You can click unfollow there as you can see me doing. Then click on the top right to follow them and then obviously that will appear in the following section. All these person's bites that they post you'll see them there. Then next to it you've got the three little dots. Click on that if you want to view their rebites or uh, copy their profile link to like send it to someone. Or you can also report or block them by clicking that there then click on report account or block account for that. Then you can also change the layout of a person's profile here uh, by clicking the little uh, middle uh, little toggle button there at the left hand side and you kind of if you want to click on that it will kind of bring up a uh, like Instagram kind of layout as you can see here and then you can also click on that and it will bring up the real version so depending on what you want uh, click on that within there. Then outside of the profile now we're going to go uh, to like where you see the little upwards uh, kind of arrow there in a the little box you can click on that then you can click a share on that, so if you want to share it to like a group chat or whatever, or in like Skype, you can click on that, for instance, uh, with like that. Then you can also copy the link to kind of maybe put it on your website, etc. For instance, if you want to. Then uh, click save if you want to save the byte, like this. Once that's done, you know it's saved, and then you can save it to like a specific area, like your phone, etc. Or whatever you want to do. And also you can rebyte it by clicking on that. So that's going to be like the retweet version of that within the byte here. Then obviously if you want to unrebite, you do it like back, so not you want to take it back, you can click on that again, then click unrebite. And do remember that rebiting will kind of show uh, everyone on your profile as well. They'll be able to see it as well as people who are following you. They'll kind of be able to see it on your profile, so do remember that. And also you can report another person by clicking flag. If they see something inappropriate, if they've like kind of stolen your video, you can click on that there. Or if you just don't like it or it's spammy or harmful, you can click on that too. So now, also, if you want to like uh, someone's post to the heart by the right hand side of it, uh, you can click on that. You can kind of unheart it too, uh, you click unlike it just by clicking that as well. And also, the comments section that's next to the heart, you can click on that. Then you can also um, kind of comment on the person's video, so or you can say you can just say hi or whatever. Then you can also reply to a person's comment like this by just clicking on the, the comment and then reply and then putting it in there, and so whatever you want, like this. Then uh, you can also uh, like the video at the top right hand corner there. You can also click the little downwards arrow and do all the different options as well. Or the upwards arrow I should say. Then next to it all the three little dots you can report or block user. And again within here too. And you can also see the like, whoever's liked the post by clicking the likes likes there. Uh, let's just do likes, you'll see everyone who's liked it in the comments. You can switch back and forth between them. And now we're going to go to like the explore section. So if you uh, potentially want to look up someone's profile, like you know their name, etc., you can go ahead and type it in uh, here. As a, for instance, if you know the person's called Tom, you can go ahead and click that. If the person's name like Tom.1, you can go follow them by clicking that little uh, plus button next to it, and then you can also unfollow them uh, by like, unticking it like that. You also look up hashtags, you can go look for specific ones here, etc. within that. Then you kind of uh, tap out of that. And then you can bring up all these other ones here. So you've got like the spotlight. That's going to be all the ones that like, the Byte app has kind of put within there. Then you can also look at like featured hashtags. And also you've got the different sections here. You can see, so if you just want to look at just memes, you can click on that. All these other ones here too. So specifically within them, uh, like let's say for instance, if you go uh, to the cat one, they're going to have like specific rules for each of the ones. So click on the top right for the rules of each one. So you'll see obviously within here, obviously you're going to have to have a cat in the video. Then you have to like be kind to each other, whatever it says within there. Then you can also follow or unfollow um, each like the specific cat ones. So you can click that little follow button there. Once you first click on it, you can also post a video about it. Then you'll kind of see that in your mix, you'll see a bunch of like cat videos, etc. If you do follow, 
that one and if you don't want to you obviously you can just untick it by clicking that tick button and clicking unfollow within here then you can also see like the most recent ones so instead of the popular ones by clicking on a little drop down where it says popular and just click the newest ones there and you can also change the layout to the right hand side of the middle bit there or the layout of all these ones do the little reel or just like the other layout version so that's everything within there then you can see all these different kind of options of the ones you can do. Also, it says like you can also suggest a channel, like specific different ones of these sections uh, to them. And you can also uh, do new and trading and latest within there as well. So that's what we do within the explore section. Next, we're going to show you uh, how to actually do a bite and kind of like how everything's do, like the video and that. If you want to do a bite, click on the bottom, uh, like middle of the screen. You'll be able to see the little circle button. You want to click on there. Then that's going to bring up a bunch of options. If you want to like turn your camera around, because right now it's just, mine's just facing uh, uh, the table that I'm on, you can click the uh, bottom left hand corner and that will change your front facing camera or your back facing camera depending. So, wherever you want to do, click on the bottom left hand corner, that will change your camera uh, angle. Then uh, you, can, you can click on the bottom right hand corner, that's going to bring up your camera roll. So, if you've already got any video saved to your phone, you can go ahead and click there, then put them within there. Uh, also within that and also the middle bottom button with the three little lines that you can click there and insert a clip from that too so if you're clicking insert a clip that's how you do it and you also set a self timer so you can click self timer there and three five or ten seconds and basically like you can put your phone down go start stand back etc from it then uh, five or ten or three seconds later it will start recording once you're ready and then it will kind of go through the bike like that then if you want to just want to record a bite without the phone in your hand, you can just click the little circle or the big circle button in the middle of the page right there. And once you hold that in, you're going to need to hold it in, remember. Hold it in, it's going to be recording and recording and recording until you stop holding it in. Then it'll st you see it's like stop there at the top of the screen. Then you can kind of go put your phone somewhere else, etc. Then keep holding it in again. Then it will keep recording until you stop again. You can keep doing that as many times as you want until uh, like the timer runs out of how long the bite can be at the top there. You'll see uh, at the top uh, how long you can do a bite for. Once that's done, uh, let's say for instance you've done it and you kind of want to uh, X out of it. You don't want to do the bite anymore. You want to delete it. You can click the top left hand corner. But if you want to continue on with posting the bite, click the top right where the arrow is. And then it's going to bring you up to this like edit section here, so you can also like put text on it, so whatever you want to do, in text there, and then click done or whatever if you want to. You can move that text around the screen, and you can also, uh, if you don't want to delete the text, you can just go towards that uh, rubbish bin there, put it within there. Now you can also add music on the bottom left hand corner, but that's a little bit more in depth. I don't want to go too in depth in this video, make it kind of like a 10 minute video. Uh, it would be a much longer, so I'm going to do a different video on how to add music. I'll uh, kind of link that on screen once it's done. Or if it's not done already, subscribe to the channel, then you'll see that. I'm going to do a lot more how-to videos on the Byte app. There's also a playlist for that too, I'll leave at the end of the video. So if you want to see more in-depth videos about how to do things on Byte, I'll show you that there. So make sure you subscribe for that. Then once you're done with that, you want to click uh, the, the bottom right-hand corner where it says Next. And then you can add a description here, uh, say whatever you want with that. Uh, then you can also download at the top right hand corner Then you can also uh, pick like a channel so let's say if it was a meme you can go ahead and click the meme section there uh, for that uh, so you could do whatever for that and once you're done click post at the bottom then that's going to go ahead and post it here you'll be able to see that pop up straight away then for instance if you didn't want to actually have this you can click that little upwards arrow with the box right there and then you can also delete it also you can like share copy link and save it but if you want to delete it click the more on the three little dots there Click on that, then click to stick delete post, then delete post again. So if you want to remove that there, as so the post has been deleted, so that'll be done within that there. So next we've got the activity section. So here you can also filter out all your activity by clicking on the top right. Uh, for if you want to just do all comments, likes, follows, or mentions, you can go ahead and click wherever you want with that. Then next on to like the profile here, you'll see your profile. If you want to go to your settings, you want to click the three little dots at the top there in the middle of the screen. It's going to bring up your stats, so you can click on that, and then you'll see like all your followers, uh, like all the loops, etc., on your bytes. Then you're going to click yeah, your liked bytes, your rebytes, your follows, your people you follow. And you click on each of them, you'll be able to see all them things. You can copy the profile link, you can click block blocked accounts. So if you have blocked someone, you can unblock them within this section right here. So that's how you do that. Uh, then uh, also, much different other things here. You can see your scrolling behavior, Zen mode, uh, which you can go ahead and look within there if you're interested in that. A camera mode, comments audio, the app icon, you can change it within there. You see the forums, you can clear the cache. If you've got any problems, you click the support button here. 
Uh, also, you've got the credits, open source. Then, also, if you want to de deactivate your account at the bottom of this settings page, you can click on that and then do it like a specific length of time if you want to deactivate. If you want to straight up delete the account overall, you're going to click delete there. Then also you can click log out if you don't want to uh, stay on your account there. So you can click log out and once you're done you can click done at the bottom there uh, for that. Next we're going to click edit profile. Then if you want to change like the background here, you don't want it to be black etc. You can change all these different colors. And once you're done with that, like whatever color you want, you've got all these different options here. You can click save in the top right hand corner Then you'll see it will change. Then also within the edit profile, you'll be able to change your username, your profile picture, display name, and about. So you can change them there. You can click upload on the profile picture. You can either take a picture or like, take one from your camera roll. Then once you're done with that, you're going to have to click save on the top right hand corner for it to change. Uh, so it's pretty self explanatory for that. So that's pretty much covered everything, hopefully. There is a link on screen and maybe in the description as well to other more in depth tutorials on Byte. So click on that if you're interested in more. Leave a like on the video if this did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on screen to see my how to videos on the Byte app. But that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video.